Hey, welcome to a new Crocfix video tutorial. I want to show you guys today how to upgrade your Lenovo V17 uh, laptop. What are the upgrade options? So if you need any parts and tools, I have provided the links uh, under my video description. Just click here on more under the video and you will see the links. And then you just click on the link and then you can access the parts. You can buy them directly here. So this is our laptop or uh, Lenovo V17 and uh, I want to show you the upgrade options here. So the correct model uh, of this laptop is Lenovo V17 G3 IAP. So I'm going to show you how to open it and how to uh, put in additional RAM or just upgrade your SSD. So let's go and disassemble this thing. Firstly, I'm going to remove this protection here. Then I'm going to do following. Of course, I'm going to put here a protective cloth, so we want we don't want to do any scratches. And then we are going to turn it around. And you will see here one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 Phillips screws which needs to be unscrewed. So let's proceed and unscrew these screws. They are probably all the same length, so they are not different in size. Let's speed up this video a little bit. So as I see the bottom screws, which are on the opposite side of the hinge, of the hinge, uh, uh, screen hinge, are shorter. So these four screws are shorter. Put them by side so you know where they belong. There we go. So after we have unscrewed the screws, we need to do a gap between this rear plastic here and the middle frame. So we are going to try to make a gap somewhere here. Let's see where is the best option. The best thing is to firstly lift up this towards you and we try to make a gap here so there is a nice way to go this from the left side here as you will see you just push a little bit towards to that side and this one to the all to the opposite side just try to um, you know what I mean like to separate them and then you put the plastic tool here inside between to make uh, the gap larger once you will be in it's easier so there we go, and then you just go and separate it. Carefully, there are some plastic clips inside, you don't want to damage them. This is always the best to go with a plastic tool, because some um, 
metal tools can damage the plastic. So let's go on the other side here. There we go. So now I'm going to try this from the right side here. I want to show you how it looks like from this side here. If you want a, maybe a better view experience. Then let's go here to, to the end here. There we go. Now we will probably need to put it down again and then try to go here around. Try to lift it up just a little bit so you will hear the click sounds and then you go with the plastic tool just around and that should be okay then. When you look at the back you will see that the Idea Pad 3 and the V17 looks the same. So the V17 have the exactly same amount of screws, same size and same position. So the back cover uh, or let's say the chassis is the same, but once you open it, you will see the difference. As we expected, the V17 here, the motherboard looks a little bit different from the IdeaPad 3, and the position of the SSD is here, and the RAM position is here. The SSD uh, uh, in this case is from Union Memory, uh, as we have also an Intel Gold processor CPU, we see they uh, did want to save a little bit of money and they put some cheap SSD inside. So the position of the RAM stick is here and this should be also uh, able to open it. We just need to lift up this metal plate here and then we can install additional memory here. So I'm going to use memory from Crucial, uh, 8 gigabytes DDR4. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you have a better perspective and we will install it here. So just we need to insert the short pins here, the shorter one and the longer one on the right side. So it seems it's made opposite because usually the RAM um, slot is made so we install it that way, but it doesn't work. So we have to turn around and then stick it in, press it down and that's it. Then we can cover back again. There are some tools here, like slots, small slots. And we are going to put it back. So what I forgot to say is we forgot to disconnect the battery. So this is very important. I forgot in my case. So uh, thankfully nothing happened. We hope so, but always when you do some kind of hardware changes, always just uh, disconnect the battery first. So our next step is to replace the SSD because 256 gigabytes is too small. And we will replace this with an one terabyte of hard drive. Uh, I mean one terabyte of SSD. So just remove the screw here. Once the screw is removed, you can detach this metal plate here and then also the small factor SSD 
from Union Memory. I will show you what was inside uh, just a second. There we go. So, okay. I will install memory also from Crucial. It's one terabyte and the model number is P3. So it should be able to read um, data with 3500 megabytes per second. So that's a very good uh, speed. In, uh, these are very good speed informations. So it should be okay. So let's open this. Here is also one screw attached if you don't have any. So the M2 NVMI drive is ready. We're gonna insert it here. There we go. Put it in place and then use the screw which was provided with the laptop. Screw it together just not too tight, just easy screwing because it needs just to hold the SSD here in place. So no tight screwing is needed here. Okay, so this is it. This is the SSD upgrade and the RAM upgrade. So physical memory upgrade. I'm gonna show you also how to upgrade or how to replace your battery. So the battery model number is L20L3PF0. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you have a better perspective. And again, putting here to the left so you can read clearly. So L20L3PF0. If you want to replace the battery, Oh, I'm sorry, just a second. So if you want to replace your battery, there are one, two, three, four, five, six screws, which needs to be unscrewed here. Then you take out the battery and this is it. You just take a new battery and you can place it here in this position. Um, there is also here actually a place for a HDD which could be placed in. But in this case you would have to... Um, yeah replace also the battery and put in a different battery. So there is no possibilities to insert an HDD and the same battery here, just in case you didn't know. So then you screw back the battery here with the six screws. And let's not forget to connect the battery back here. There we go. And this is it. So the next step is just to put back the back cover here. Put it in place. And then you're going to click through all the corners and edges. You have to hear the click sound. So 
like this and then we're going to screw back all screws you don't need to screw them really tight as it just should hold the plastic in place no, no need to use really hard force here There we go, that's your upgraded Lenovo V17. Let me know in the comments if the video was helpful for you, if you want to say thank you or if you have any questions about installing some parts. Thanks for watching, if the video did somehow help you, then you can buy me a coffee, donations are always appreciated, thank you. You find the donation link in my about page and in the video description. Please also like, comment and share the video. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.